Sadaka, big. I give you one story, and that'll be the end of my talk. There was a leader, a teacher in Baghdad. He was sitting down like this with a student. They, they're making daras. He's teaching them, teaching them. Then a man came by and walked. He's going to the farm. Go to the farm to go and work in his farm. So when he gets to by the sheikh, he says, Salaamu Alaikum Sheikh Umar. Say, Ma Alaikum Asalaamu Wa Rahmatullah. How are you? Where are you going? I'm going to the farm. Masha Allah. May Allah bless you. So the man, he left. After the man, he left. The sheikh, he tells his student, you see this guy? He's not coming home back again. He's going to die in the farm today. He will die. You see him passing by? He's not coming. He's going to die. So they look at him and say, Subhanallah, that's a walking dead person. This man is not coming back. Subhanallah. And they cannot go and tell him. The Sheikh said, he's, he's not coming back. He's going to die. Allahu Akbar. So they are there, Zuhur, they finish Zuhur, they do Asar. After Asar, they saw the man coming back. He's coming back. He came, he said, Salaam alaikum, Sheikh. Say, Wa alaikum as salam, Ya Umar, how are you? How is the farm? He said, Alhamdulillah. He said, MashaAllah. Tell your family, I say, Salaam. He said, Alhamdulillah. He go. So the student, they say, You know, they're talking. Students, they cannot talk to the, to the Sheikh. But the Sheikh, he know. He know what they're thinking. He, he laughed. He said, Come, come closer. He said, Come. He said, Look, go and, go and bring the man to come. I know what you're thinking. I told you he's going to die. Now here he didn't die. I know you're talking amongst yourself. You are afraid to ask me. Go and call the man. They call him. They say, Salaam alaikum. Uh, the Sheikh said, Come. Sheikh said, Oh, subhanAllah. He came. He said, He came. He said, Sheikh asked him. He said, This morning when you wake up in the morning, what good thing did you do? He looked. He said, I didn't do anything. But I prayed. He said, No, 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 no. What have you done? Did you give sadaqa? Have you given sadaqa this morning when you came? Did you give sadaqa? Did you give sadaqa? He says, sadaqa, sadaqa, sadaqa. I'm, no. Yeah, Sheikh, I didn't give sadaqa. Think again, think. Sadaqa, give sadaqa. Sheikh, I didn't give sadaqa. He said, no, think. He said, well, when I came out in the morning, I went to a woman. She sell, you know, uh, how do you call it? Porridge. Something that you drink. In Africa, in Hausa, we say cocoa. It's made with millets. You put sugar. And you have your bread, and you eat the bread, and you drink, like tea. So the man said, I went to that lady over there, and I bought the cocoa, you know, the drink. I bought that, and some few bread. So I drink, and I drink. But I drink, and then my stomach is full. I can't drink anymore. And I saw some young boys, and I called them, hey, come, take, and eat. And the guys came and took it. They said, the man, then the imam said, yes, you do sadaka. That's sadaka. Okay, since now we prove that you did sadaqa, you, my student, follow him back to the, to, the, to the farm. Then the imam asked him, if you go to the farm, after you do work, you work, you work, you're tired, where do you sit down and rest? He said, I stood by a big stone. I used to sit there and I eat my food and I rest. Maybe I sleep 10 minutes. I wake up again. So, okay, go to that stone and lift that stone. Under that stone, whatever you see, come and tell me. They went there, and the, imam, and the, the, the farmer, he said, this is the stone, I used to rest. It's okay. The student, they pushed the stone. When they pushed the stone, you know what they saw? A big black cobra, a snake. That snake was meant to bite that man that day, to die. But the sadaka, the sadaka that the man did before he left his house, entered in the mouth of the snake. So when they lift up the stone, they saw the snake eating the bread. The sadaqah that the man did. So sadaqah, al Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, it extends your life. Allah doesn't add your life. But there is a sabab. Whatever you do dictates your life. You give sadaqah, one dollar, two dollar, you think it's nothing? La hawla wa la quwa. Especially if you give to someone that is poor, needy. The best sadaqah is when you give with your right hand, the left hand shouldn't see that. The best sadaqah, you know your neighborhood, you know this man, subhanallah, her husband is dead, three children, four children, ya salam. 
Look, I have money. So you go in the night after Isha. Assalamu alaikum, ya ummi. She said, Mashallah, alaikum assalam. Mr. Muhammad, Mashallah. Ya umma. Here, take this one. The bag of rice, take this one. The bag of oil, take this one. She said, Allahu Akbar, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. She said, no, 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 for the sake of Allah. Don't let nobody see. You know what? The angels, they are fighting. Everybody want to take it and show it to Allah. Goodness. The messenger said, the best amongst you is he who is of good service to his brethren. So, Wallahi tallahi, sadaqah. I'm not saying I'm doing sadaqah and that ever, I'm the best. No. But, Wallahi, I practice sadaqah. And I can see clearly that Allah is making it possible. I say, Subhanallah. Sometimes I am broke. I don't have money. What am I going to do? Somebody will come and say, Alaikum, Shaykh Muhammad. Awad, MashaAllah. Where are you? Okay, I mean, okay. Uh, I want to help Zaytun Dawah. So, inshallah, I'll send you. Give me your address. I'll send you $4,000, $2,000. I say, Allah Akbar. Or he said, Give me your account. You know, there is no way that I'm broke. By the time I realize somebody is furnishing me, Allah said, if you do all this type of thing, I will open door, a door for you that you can't even think of. Try it and see. It's a challenge. Try it and see. Take care of the, uh, the, of the, of the orphan. Take care of the poor. Take care of your mother, your father, your sisters, those amongst you who are weak and poor. Take care of them. The blessing is beyond your thinking. The salat is with Allah. Whether he give you, yes. He don't give you, yes. You are not even really sure if you do your salat. Even when you are fasting, what do you do? In Nigeria, I've seen somebody, it's, it's time to, for fasting, it's time for maghrib, two minutes before they broke the fasting, he have his banana in the hand, and he have an orange in the hand. He's saying, hey, where's the mu'azim? And we have one minute, man. I'm waiting for the mu'azim to make uh, azan. So I could break my fat and everybody's holding the banana. I said, where is your faith? <laughs> where is your faith, man? You went to the Imam Allah. You open your mouth. Alhamdulillah. 